What up, it's your girl, Minna, and in this video, we are trying out a whole bunch of new products again. There's gonna be so many of these. How exciting. If you see my unboxing video, then you know that there are gonna be a few of these coming in the name of Jesus. Yes, got the ponytail wig situation going on. This is the headband that comes with it, but I don't mind that that shows. This is just a, it's not a wraparound headband. It's just a put down headband. So yeah, ponytail wig in session, live and direct, half up, half down. What do you think? Link to the hair and the headbands are gonna to be right here. We have to start off with primer. I've already primed my lips, which ah, uh, because of all the talking, it's gonna be like kind of annoying, you know? This is the one I use. Don't go get that other one that's two-sided lip plumper. We don't need lip plumperizations. We are black. Well, I don't need it, okay? You could be black and need lip plump. Not need. I, anyway, I digress. You could want to do do, <laughs> do 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 do. You could be black and want to plump your lips. You can be black and do whatever you want to do. Praise the Lord. If you see any discoloration, this is dead skin that I need to exfoliate. If you've been following my stories, then you would have seen that I had a break out on my face, my rosacea. I had neglected to put on my rosacea cream one night and my face <laughs> blew up with a huge reaction. And then the aftermath of it is the dead skin that I need to exfoliate and realize I needed, I thought I wanted to give myself another day before exfoliating because I didn't want to agitate my skin any further. Well, when I came and sat down, I'm like, wait a minute, I see dead skin. You saw me do that. You have to, the licking, that's just what we do. Just want to explain that to you. Whatever, you probably have a face full of dead skin right now as we talk. All right, so the foundation is going to be this Too Faced Born This Way 24 hour undetectable, super long wear foundation. I have the other one that is really red on me. Ugh, what is the color? God, I don't know. But this is a new one. This is the color Truffle. I had to pick it out on Sephora.com and just guess my color based on the description because no testing in store. I just don't know. So I really hope that this works for me. Oh, and to prime my face because I need hydration, I'm using the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. It's a hydrating glow radiance spray. It's like a skincare. I do want some hydration, even though this is matte. Check out my primer video to understand how to pair your foundations and your primers depending on the re response you want from it, okay? All right, now this is dark, <laughs> darker than my face, but that's okay because I'd like to go dark when I apply my foundation anyway because when I highlight and apply my powder, it's all gonna come together. And I went with Truffle also because in the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation, I wear the color Truffle. Well, I was doing deep bronze in the summertime, but in winter time I do truffle, so I figured the truffle would be a little bit similar, although it's not always the case. But yeah, well, spotty blemishes, although I can still see the dead skin. Ooh! <laughs> but it's gonna feel so good when I exfoliate it off. Oh my gosh, so annoying. All right, Lip Bar sent me a concealer. It's called the Quick Conceal Cafe. What? Quick Conceal Caffeine. <laughs> caffeine concealer. I love this detail. TLB, I just love that detail. That is sexy to me. The color I don't love automatically because it's very neutral and it is not gonna be very light, but we're gonna see. Okay, this is the color Mocha. I also have in my hand this concealer from Koki Professionals also sent to me. This is illuminating concealer and it's a, oh, bless God, it's the color honey. <laughs> Okay, off rip, I wish that more product came out on this wand whenever I dip in. I don't like how I have to go in 75 times. And the color right now is okay. So let's blend this. It looks hydrating. Like it looks a little bit dewy. Interesting. So my face looks dewy. Like I, I'm enjoying the way that this concealer looks. Like I'm enjoying it. It looks really dewy, really good. I just need some color options because this one is very neutral, like gray. I look gray, okay? Do you see this? And this is not gonna work for me. It's a no for me because of the color, but the finish of it is gorgeous. I just look like the color gray. Like you mix black and white and you put on my face and this is me. Oh, bless God. The Koki Professionals Concealer in the color Honey has some yellow in it. I hope that this will help counteract and also brighten, although this one looks wicked light. Oh, bless God. Okay. <sighs> Okay, feeling a little, I don't know right now. I mean, this one is way too light just to use by itself, the Koki one. And the TLB one is too neutral gray, just not gonna work. These ain't gonna work because of the colors, but the finishes of them look nice. I actually need to film for a brand campaign after this, so I hope I don't look stupid. Oh God, don't let me look stupid. Oh. 
We need a contour. So I'm going to use the Juvia's Place. This one I know and I know it works. You know what I'm saying? So this is Juvia's Place Shade Stick in the color Congo. Yo, I can't lie. The idea of trying out new things, especially on a day when I like literally have things to do is giving me, is giving me a little bit of pause. I look like ashes to ashes, dust to dust in person. It's been a while since I've used my sponge to apply a setting powder, but I feel like Laura Mercier is tried and true and tested and trusted. So I should be able to use my sponge right you use a sponge to apply your Laura Mercier powder don't you if you have it do you use a sponge or are you using a brush I go with the brush when I don't trust the product very much or I'm just not sure this is my first time ever using Laura Mercier so let me use the sponge because I feel like it's trustworthy dipping it into the cap getting some product looking down oh god it's been so long since I've done it this way oh my goodness Either this front area right here. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Getting some more on the cap here, you know. Okay, I don't bake, so let me dust this off because I'm a little concerned with how much is under there. Okay, it looks okay. It looks normal. It looks okay. I did a lot right here, but it's been months, months, maybe even a year since I've done the sponge application. So let me go back to doing what, I, what I'm used to, okay? Here's my brush, applying the powder. Why does this powder look so white? It should be yellow, shouldn't it? It's like a soft yellow. Why does it look so white? You know, I'm, I'm expecting Sasha Buttercup yellow, you know? You know, like even the honey powder from Fenty is more yellow. Even in the container, it's more yellow. There is, okay, so there's that. I just don't have a new face powder which honestly is good because all this new trying out I need to know what I can expect from something and I know what I can expect from this covergirl full spectrum matte ambition pow oh bless god I almost took my contour on my face I cannot wow okay slow down all right here's the color I need deep cool too for my face this brush is awesome by a company called Complex Culture. So taking some of this powder, this powder is gonna give me some warmth, which God, I need. My face looks stupid. I knew that concealer was gonna be horrible. And then the powder isn't as yellow as I thought it was going to be. So it didn't balance out the face the way I needed it to. This is not. And because the, the foundation was already darker than usual, I needed, see all of it works together. I needed the concealer to do what it needed to do do in order for my face to look how it needs to look because I've worn foundations that are darker than my skin. I do that all the time and it just does not happen. Yo, do I need to just wipe this off? <gasps> like between the skin and... <sighs> between the skin and the concealer, it's just like doing something. Let's add some more watermelon glow ultra fine mist. I am just dumbfounded. I'm amazed <laughs> and not in a good way. <gasps> oh. Okay, the eyebrows are almost done. And I say almost because I need to carve underneath them. I'm going to use something new again. This is so against what I'm used to doing. I should not do this, but here we are. We're doing a video. Okay, Makeup by Mario has launched his brand and I have in front of me the Master Eye Prep and Sets. Oh my God, you can't even see these because of my lights. <laughs> I have the Master Eye Prep and Set. This is the deep one. And he says that you can use this to think carve the brow, but he definitely said to uh, prep for your eyeshadow. I'm gonna use one of his eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna use the darkest color because I don't know how it'll come off on my skin. I'm gonna take this, the darkest one in this palette. This isn't giving me NARS soft matte coverage, obviously. I don't know that it's supposed to. Okay, so he talking about you can use this to prime the eyelid for makeup, but I'm not even gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna use this brush. Is there a number EF2 from Mario as well to just, oh, this is not the right shape of a brush to do this, but for that reason, I'm just going to pat versus going side by side. Whew, try new things, they say. <laughs> Try new things, they say. We're trying new things and I hate it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use the powder that is, I'm gonna use the powder that's in this to set the brows and see how that goes. The brow bone, I mean, okay. I mean, now that it's set, like, okay. All right, this powder is cool. That did set very nicely. It set and it lightened it up a little bit, which is helpful because you know I like my under eyebrow to look you know, I like under my brow to really be pronounced. Like, come on. Okay, now that I see how this is, I don't want to use this as an eyeshadow primer. I'm just not. We ain't doing that. And I'm giving these away. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, let's see. Eyeshadow primer. I'm All right now, I got some. I, 
Here we are. I've primed my eyes with the e.l.f. Cosmetics Matte Putty. I almost wanted to say Matte Ambition, the Matte Putty Primer. So this is the Makeup by Mario Master Matte's Eyeshadow Palette. This you should be able to see. This I have faith in. Let me see if I can use this brush. Perhaps. This one is a little pointy though. Oh, and I do have in front of me Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner, and then I put in this little thing, this little science tube situation. And I'm gonna be, this is a new thing I'm doing now, cleaning my brushes as I go along. There, therefore, there's no big pile up to have to you know clean after a while, I hate that. So I'm cleaning as I go along. Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner dries wicked quickly, it smells like vanilla, and it kills 99% of bacteria on your brushes, praise the Lord. So that's what you're gonna see me doing when I'm dipping and like rubbing and cleaning my brushes. All right, so a different brush because although this brush is good, it's pointy, and I don't want too much pointy situations right here. This is good for a crease color. Color, but the first color I put down is gonna be a transition and I want it to go wide. So I'm not gonna use this brush right now. <laughs> this one's like spread out. <laughs> Avita Joseph Fluffy Blender Brush. This is the one I be using now. I be using it because it's very spread out. Okay. They go matte, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So I'm going to go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You gotta count. <laughs> it's neutral, although I'm gonna mix it with nine to make it more warm. Okay, I am gonna change my brush to this one just this is very neutral, like too neutral for me. Not like I look gray. I'm gonna take matte number nine because this has a little bit of red in it. Yes, come on, I need warmth in my face. I am all about the warmth, I can't. Because this brush is pointy and I'm making it work, I'm going at an angle versus like this because of the shape of the brush, okay? So I'm at an angle right now, trying to diffuse this into the brow bone so it looks natural and nice. God, this is making me feel more like a person. You see the warmth here versus here? I can't do that. So I'm at an angle right here. Now I'm gonna add more of the same color. This is number nine. It's not as warm as I would like, but it's better than nothing, you know? Now to lighten up the lid, we're gonna take a flat, fluffy-ish brush like this shape right here and I don't want to go too white and look really stupid. We ain't trying to do stupid today. You know? This is number five, which I really wasn't expecting. Huh, okay. I was thinking it would be light on me. All right. Like my face is so dry. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord on oh my soul. Oh, my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship your holy name. Mm, 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 mm. I didn't choose the right color. Like it's not opening my eye like I want my eye to open. I want my eye to be open. Let's create some dimension in the crease to then make the eyelid look lighter than it is. Artistry, okay, number 11, you gotta count, you gotta count, you gotta count, do you know how to count? Let me take 10, I'ma build up and make it gradual. This is a great brush for the crease because it's pointy. So I'm going with 10 right now. It's a gradual deepening of the crease. I don't see anything, so I'm gonna go with 10. Excuse me, 11. 11 is grayish brown, very neutral. Okay, so see how I deepened the crease and it made the lid pop? Now the brush is getting onto my lid, so it's taken away the color that I have just right there on the lid. I'm gonna have to go back and reinforce that lid color because now it looks ridiculous. This is actually a really cute mix. I just need more like reddish. I'm going back in with that reddish color because I don't like the whole neutral vibe. I could live without the palette. It's just so neutral. Let me go over the lid color again just to reinforce because it disappeared when I did my crease. Windshield wiper motions. I highlighted the inner part of my eye with this palette by Hip Dot. Never even heard of them. I think this came in my BoxyCharm, I'm not sure. This frosty color right here. I think I salvaged the look. It really isn't doing it for me. This is the color Flaunt by Rare Beauty. Absolutely love it. It dries really fast. I apply it with my beauty sponge and it's usually like almost dry because I used it already for my concealer. I'm using the butt part of it, not the top part that has concealer product on it. This looks so wild because my face is so gray, but we need something 
to just do, you know do it up a little bit and what I don't like is that it's matching my inner eye highlight I like for the highlights to be different colors so it can really stand out this whole thing is just not what I like like at all you know it's like testing new products kind of excruciating you know but uh here we are light in the darkness my god my face looks so gray mm. i'm gonna add some warmth with this bronzer it's not new this is existing morphe the color is leader let's see if this gives me a little bit of warmth yes it'll also set that concealer color because it's a excuse me, set the contour color because that's a foundation and it's dewy. So here we go. Get it into the hairline because that's a requirement. We will wash it off at night and we wash our face, praise God. I really hope that when I spray my face, which I barely do, but I'm gonna do today, I hope that when I spray my face, this looks decent. Because for some reason, the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray looks dewy on me. Is that supposed to happen? This is not a dewy spray. Like what is going on? But you know what? I need that today. I need something to do something to this face. I need something to do something to this something. This is the Elf Cosmetics Always Spicy. I'm doing a dance because spicy makes me think of Latinas. Spicy. This is warm, so this will warm the face up. Yes. This is a reddish, orangish situation. Used this in my best drugstore foundation video where I had the blue look. You gotta go take a look at it. It's awesome. All right, yeah. I feel like doing orange today. Oh, bless God. Hi. <laughs> okay, that's Fenty Pumpkin Rose. I really don't want to put this gloss on top. I don't want to take away from it, so I'm not going to. All right, here we have the absolute finished look. Now, what do you think about it? I think it came together. It came together. It looks like a something. We look like a person. Oh, wait, sorry. Setting spray. Let's do that. Urban Decay All Nighter. Let's get, let me get my fan. See what I mean? The spray made me look dewy. That is so odd. I don't recall that being a dewy spray. I could be wrong. I don't know. But we have something, okay? We've done something and I'm like trying to get my ponytail. We've done something, okay? Okay, so the look has come together. I still look gray. Like on the camera, maybe not so much, but in person, your girl is gray, okay? It's gonna be what it's gonna be in the name of Jesus. We bless God. It all came together, but I already told you how I feel about, about all the new stuff. Like it came together, but I'm really not comfortable. I want you to comment and let me know about the products. How do you think the look came together? What are you feeling about the concealer? What are you feeling about this lip? Pumpkin Rose, I think is great all year round, but definitely for the fall. Hello, praise the Lord. Do you think it looks bomb, diggity bomb, digga bomb, a dang a dang, diggy diggy, you know? Glad you watched the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share the video with your girl and also make sure you follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Bye.